Basically, this is a, a question which, uh, which is a pan-European, so what we would like to achieve is uh, a clear position towards Ukraine in terms of uh, also security guarantees. And I understand uh, it in relation, for example, uh, to uh, uh, a position which was uh, or, or which will be also uh, discussed at the NATO Vilnius summit. But here uh, I'm in favor uh, showing clearly towards Ukraine that we cannot leave them just alone at some point uh, in the future without achieving a, a long-term peace agreement. So we are ready to support Ukraine by all means and ready to continue with our support until a final, let's say, peace agreement is, is, is reached in the future. So that is a kind of a commitment from our side. Uh, probably there will be no uh, substantial discussion on individual elements of guarantees. We, will, uh, like, uh, we would like to send a clear message that uh, actually on top of NATO, uh, the European Union can provide additional assistance to Ukraine, which is, which is actually uh, the situation right now. So I read this as a kind of a, a continuation of all our support in all the areas, military, humanitarian, economic areas, accession. So uh, from my perspective, it is more about uh, a signal uh, than a kind of a substantive debate about uh, potential individual guarantees.